All new at 530. Thousands of Hillsborough County students late every single day because of tight bus schedules. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jamison Euler in for Paul this half hour. And I'm Laura Harris and district leaders hope new bell schedules just released today will fix that problem. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler shows us how all the changes might help. High schoolers might be the happiest over this proposed plan. That's because their start time would go from 730 in the morning to 830 and that extra hour could go a long way. Getting up before sunrise. So you get up at 5 a.m.? 5 a.m., yes. Is not easy for many of these students at Hillsborough High School. Is it rough when that alarm clock goes off? Yeah, don't want to get up. How many times do you hit snooze? Um, three times. <laughs> and that first class at 7.30? It's like boring, like. <sighs> many students are still foggy. I don't drink coffee, so it's kind of hard, really, really hard for me, you know, to get up. And sometimes like, I actually almost fall asleep in there. But changes are coming. Hillsborough Superintendent Jeff Eakin says studies show an extra hour of sleep helps with attendance rates, graduation rates, and even reduces the number of students involved in fatal crashes. He also says it lessens obesity numbers. This allows them a little bit uh, more of a comfort to know they have a little bit more time in the morning to, to get some sleep to get into their first class. Other changes include elementary school beginning a little earlier at 740 and middle schoolers starting a little later at 925. They'll get out the latest at 420. The district is also touting the new schedule's effect on bus logistics. Right now they say 12,000 students are late every day because some buses can't make the quick turnaround from high school drop off to elementary school pickup. Our buses have literally had to show up at our high schools between 6.30 and 7 in the morning. And that means high school students have been getting on the bus at 5 or 5.15. That will no longer be the case in Hillsborough County. I would love it, honestly. I mean, like, it's, it'll be good. I would plenty of sleep. I would actually get an eight hour, you know. Not every school will go exactly by these times. It'll depend on their individual needs. We have all the proposed school times on our website, abcactionnews.com. The school board will vote on this plan October 17th. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.